Who the crap is Justin Bieber? Come on, just tell me who it is. Uh, who the crap is that? Hey guys, the Buttered Mustache here. And today we're doing another Minecraft video. Uh, today we are doing another mod showcase for Memorial Day. To celebrate those soldiers who fought for the U.S. and wars. I don't know which war to be exact. But for that celebration, we are starting a two-part series called the Superheroes Unlimited mod, where we'll do two parts, the Marvel and the DC, the Marvel, which we are doing today, and then the DC side, which we'll do a little later. I know uh, the rest of the guys um, aren't here today. They uh, went on vacation for with their families for Memorial Day, so they are not here today. <clears throat> The reason we are doing the Superheroes Unlimited mod is because Captain America is in that mod, and I know there's a waypoint right there. As I was saying, Captain America is in the mod, and he was a soldier. Well, not really a soldier, but you know. And I'm going to see X-Men today, so you know, it would be perfect to do a superhero mod, because I'm going to see a superhero movie. Alright, so let's get started. We are first going to do Captain America. He's got some stuff. We are going to head to the testing chamber. Wait, forgot to do the crafting recipes. Wait, wait. Forgot to do the crafting recipes. Sorry, guys. Uh, I was like, uh-oh. I was going to go test it out without showing you how to do the crafting recipes. This is how I had it. All right. So first, we're going to learn how to craft Captain America's mask. It is crafted with lapis lazuli blocks uh, here, 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 and here, and then Captain America's logo in the middle. That is crafted with titanium ingots, which you get from titanium ore. I'm not sure if it's smelting. It's smelting titanium ore. So, Captain America's suit. You get red cloth, which, in white cloth, red cloth is crafted like so with uh, string, 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 red wool, red wool, red wool, red wool, which gets you four red cloth. Um, sorry about that. Uh, white cloth is crafted with string, 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 white, white wool, white wool, white wool. Gets you white cloth. Next, you craft his pants, which are crafted with black iron ingots here and here, a gold ingot here, and lapis lazuli blocks here and here. You craft the black iron ingots by just throwing obsidian in the, the, the crafting table. Next, the shoes. Um, we already showed these crafting recipes for the shoes, but I'll show you the red cloth again. It is crafted with string, 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 red wool, red wool, red wool. Okay. Now the Captain America shield is crafted, this takes a while, the cloth star, which is crafted with white cloth, white cloth, white cloth, white cloth, and white cloth. To craft white cloth, again, you do string, 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 white wool, as in a star shape. Uh, let's go back to the shield. Um, now to get the adamantium, like in uh, Wolverine, you craft it with throwing adamantium ore in a furnace, which gets you adamantium. Next, you do the brineum, vibrin bri vibrinium, and you get that. I don't know how you get that. I guess you might find that. I'm not sure. Um, you might, like, find it for beating a boss. Maybe, uh, find the orb. I really don't know. Uh, just vibrant crystal. I think you find, like, a grass or something, or something like that. There's probably something around the world that has vibranium in it. Okay, next is a pistol, since Captain America is a soldier, he does use guns. That is crafted with black iron ingots. You need a clip, which is crafted with a bullet and black iron ingots. Black iron ingots are crafted like that again. Wait, what? Wait a second. Wait, 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 wait. Let me go back. Black iron ingots. Oh, how do you craft a black iron block? How do you... That's weird. It was a black iron block, not obsidian. Sorry. Oh, you smelt black iron ore. Okay, so... Scratch that about throwing obsidian. It's smelting um, 
Black iron ore is how you get it. So that's how you craft a clip, a bullet, black ironing it there, there. And a bullet is crafted by throwing an iron ingot in a crafting table, which gets you a bullet. Okay, so you know how to get redstone. Now you know how to get a black iron ingot. Um, I think you know it by now. And a grenade. It is crafted with iron, 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 uh, gunpowder, 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 and iron, iron, iron. So, let's go uh, try some of this stuff out. Captain America armor. Gun, shield, grenade. Okay. So. Basically, this gives you unlimited speed, unlimited strength, and unlimited, unlimited jump boost. So, let's go grab some witches. Uh, and we'll go uh, test those out in the testing chamber. Let's go head over there to go test some stuff out. All right, which? Oh, well, I guess try the gun first. Guess you need bullets for ammo. You just. All right, then grenade. You throw it. It blows it up. Pretty cool. Next is the shield, which does. You can throw it to do eight attack damage. And you can hit the person to do a lot more. You can do nine attack damage by hitting it. Okay. So that is the first Captain America. So I think I'm going to go pause it and get ready uh, for the second one. The second guy. Uh, just going to pause it because, you know, it's a long mod review and I need to take breaks. So I'm going to go take a break. And I'll be right back to do uh, the next superhero. So uh, I'm just going to throw this stuff away. And uh, we'll be back to do Wolverine. See you guys in just a minute. Hey guys, we're back. And uh, we're doing Wolverine. So let's go get started. The Wolverine mask is crafted with black iron block, which is crafted like so. And with the black iron ingots again. Two of those there, and then yellow cloth, which is crafted with string, string, yellow wool, yellow wool, yellow wool, yellow wool. Okay, let's just, this is how you do it, here. Next, the Wolverine suit, crafted with yellow wool, yellow cloth, yellow cloth, yellow cloth, and then red cloth, red wool, red wool, red wool, and then like that. A string. Okay, the Wolverine leggings are crafted with lapis lazuli and then yellow cloth and yellow cloth. A lot of yellow cloth. Yellow cl uh, boots crafted with yellow cloth, yellow cloth, lapis lazuli, and lapis, another lapis lazuli. Now the adamantium claws are crafted with adamantium blade, three adamantium blades, which are crafted with an adamantium ingot, like that. So, so we're going to take all this stuff and we're going to go test it out. My guess is that it gives you regeneration. That's just my guess. I, I don't see it. Yes, it does give you regeneration, you know, because Wolverine's main power is to regenerate. So, only one thing to test out the Wolverine claws. It's pretty cool. So, um, that was really quick. Um, Wolverine didn't take as long. Um, uh, maybe because, uh, it didn't have as many items to test out. And the crafting, since we already went through most of the crafting recipes, it didn't take as long. So, I'm gonna, uh, just throw these in here. We don't have to keep it organized anymore. Uh, let's just continue. We won't pause it here because that was the like the quickest one yet. Uh, that one's a long one. We'll do the top one. The Black Panther is very similar to Wolverine. This is my least favorite design in the mod, and I forgot to show you how to craft it. I do not like the Black Panther design, mainly because it just doesn't look so good, in my opinion. Uh, so we're going to go look at the crafting recipes. The boots are crafted with... Okay, let me let me organize this again because it seems that there are new ores and I didn't I think it was just going to be black iron ingots. So, Black Panther mask is crafted with uh, these ingots which are crafted by smelting 
stone, uh, Wakata stone fragment, which I guess you can find across the world. And then it is crafted like this, you know, just like regular armor with those Wakata ingots. But this one has black iron ingots in Wakata, so it's basically the same, it just has black iron ingots. And then the boots have uh, Wakata again. Wakadian. Wakadian, yeah, that's it. Wakadian ingots. So uh, let's go test him out, and then I think we're going to pause it again so I can take another break. And then we'll do the Iron Man next. So let's see what he gives you. He gives you night vision, which, uh, you know, Black Panther in his mask looks like he would give you night vision. Speed and jump boost. So you can, uh, sorry, you can, I'm not going to go into a different room. They're very similar to Wolverine's claws. Forgot to show you how to craft them. They are crafted with Wakadian, Wakadian blades. Three of them, which are crafted with just like that Wakadian ingots. Okay, so that's Black Panther. Um, we're going to go pause it again, and we'll be right back with Iron Man. Uh, so yeah, Iron Man. He's going to be going to be fun. We'll do Iron Man next. And then we'll move on to Spider-Man, and then Hulk, I mean, then Thor. All right, guys, hope you enjoyed it so far, and we'll see you in just a minute. Hey, guys, the Buttered Mustache is back for um, some more, what is it called? Oh, yeah, Super Heroes Unlimited uh, for part one of Super Heroes Unlimited. I am going to my video settings. It's already on short. Okay. So. We ended off where we looked at Black Panther. So, um, now we are going to go look at the different Iron Man suits, uh, as there are three of them. So the first one, the Iron Man helmet, is crafted with a Iron Man shell helmet, high-tech electronics here. Uh, high-tech electronics are crafted with titanium, which is smelted from my titanium ore. Okay, sorry. All right. So, first, uh, the electronics. It is crafted with high-tech electronics here, 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 and here. With a Iron Man shell here. So, we are going to go look at the high-tech electronics, which are crafted with a redstone repeater, uh, which you guys know how to craft. Why did I go to that? That was, that, that was stupid. And then there is electronics here, 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 and then titanium. To get titanium, you smelt the ore. To get electronics, you just put iron, 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 and then redstone up here and down there. That gives you four electronics. <clears throat> the Iron Man shell is crafted with Iron Man, Iron Man armor plate. It's like a regular armor. Which are uh, which are crafted with one of these vibranium crystals, which I don't know how you get, and probably mining the ore. Um, and gold ingots here, iron ingots there, and then a titanium ingot there and there, which gets you three. So, that's pretty cool. Now, the Iron Man. Helmet is crafted with high-tech electronics here, here, and here, which I showed you just a minute ago. An arc reactor, which is crafted with titanium ingots here, with a vibrant vibranium core, which is crafted with these vibranium crystals, like that. So, the arc reactor... At the end, I'll have to demonstrate the arc reactor because it is not in any of these chests, but we'll demonstrate it at the end. Okay, so the Iron Man suit is just crafted with armor, but with these Iron Man armor plates, which are, again, crafted like so. And then rockets, which are crafted with redstone, gunpowder, redstone, and Iron Man armor plates there, which gets you two rockets. Okay, the plate um, this is crafted with Iron Man shell leggings, which are crafted like normal leggings with the iron plate armor. Um, and then gold ingots, gold ingot, 
and the high-tech electronics here, here, and here, and we'll show those to you guys again. High-tech electronics, electronics, okay. Oh my god, I just messed up. Okay, high-tech electronics, just to show you again, and then you craft electronics like that. Okay, the boots are crafted with two rockets, which are crafted again, like so. And a rock, uh, iron sh man shell boots with two high tech electronics next to them. They are crafted like normal armor with the Iron Man armor plates. All right, repulsor is crafted with a vibranium core, which is again crafted like this. And I'm gonna just show you guys the arc reactor again. Arc reactor is crafted like so. I, I just wanted to make sure you guys know. Oops. And then a repulsor blast is created by titanium, titanium, a uh, vibranium core, high tech electronics here and here. Okay, now the Iron Man other suits, because Iron Man, this mod um, adds in Iron Man. Uh, we're just going to take those. Iron Man uh, multiple times. So we're going to go look at these things. And then we're gonna try. We're gonna try this one. Come back, grab this. Then we're gonna try these. So let's go look at this. The Iron Man man's Mark One helmet is crafted with iron, 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 and titanium here and here. His mat, his uh, chest plate is crafted like titanium, titanium, and then iron, iron, and iron, iron, with an arc reactor in the middle, which is crafted like so, which is crafted like so. And that is all the new crafting recipes. Next is the Iron Man leggings, which are crafted with titanium across here, with iron blocks here, here, and here. Now the Iron Man's Mark I boots are crafted very simply with an iron block and a titanium ingot on either side. So Alright, now the Hulkbuster armor is crafted... Like so, uh, Iron Man plate armor with glass here, and then high-tech electronics on the side. Then the uh, chest plate is crafted with like this, with the high-tech electronics on the side, with the arc reactor in the middle, with all these Iron Man plates. Now the Iron Man boots, uh, uh, legs are crafted with high-tech electronics here and here, with Iron Man armor plates here, here, and across there. Last but not least, <clears throat> the boots are crafted with a plate and a high-tech electronic on either side. Okay, so we are going to uh, go into the testing chamber, since after all it is Iron Man, and he might explode some stuff. So, uh, let's, what armor do you want to try out first? We're going to try out this armor. Whoa, that is cool. So it has water breathing. You look awesome. Can't really see that well. Keeps going like that. It's, oh my god, amazing. It's so cool. Oh, I love this. This is actually awesome. It gives you speed, strength, three, and water breathing. And uh, we're going to try out one of those repulsor rays. It just completely obliterates anything in its path. Boom. See what I'm talking about? It just sends the witch flying, destroying anything in its path. So let's take off this armor. And let's go put on the Hulkbuster armor. Gives you speed, strength, and resistance. I don't think this one is finished yet. That is all I'm going to say. So it has the uh, stuff again. You can punch it for to do 15 damage. And you are in Iron Man's Hulkbuster armor. Okay, last but not least, his original tier 1 armor. It gives you slowness 2, strength 5, jump boost, and fire resistance 5, 4. 4 and 4, sorry. 
this one is like a robot. You, you don't look as um, cool as you did with the other suits. But you still look kind of cool. So that is the Iron Man armor. Okay. So we're going to go put this away and uh, we're going to go pause it. And uh, we'll be right back uh, for the... Let's go see who's next, actually. Let's go throw all this Iron Man armor and crap into here. So while we're at it, we are going to go look at the arc reactor uh, just before. So the arc reactor. Where's the arc reactor? Huh, it's not over here. Uh, laser vision, which is kind of cool. That's going to be in the next one. See the arc reactor? I guess it was in a different section. All right, guys, we'll be right back in just a second. See you in just a minute. Bye. Hey, guys, we're back again for uh, Spidey and Thor. So we're first going to do Spider-Man. He's a man. He's friendly. I, I, I don't want to do it. Okay. So Spider-Man helmet is crafted with red radioactive cloth, with white cloth here and here, which is crafted again like so, string, 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 whoa, 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 let's go back to it, and then radioactive cloth, which is crafted with radioactive silk, which is found, wait, I think you find uh, radioactive, radioactive webs, and you can get this silk, so that's pretty simple, then you craft the Spider-Man suit, which is crafted with this radioactive cloth again, and a Spider-Man's logo in the middle, which is crafted like black radioactive cloth, which is crafted with the black radioactive silk, like that, or like red radioactive cloth with an ink sac. So that's the most complicated crafting recipe, I think. So uh, you craft, um, you use lapis, you put a Spider-Man in the middle, and you put uh, red radioactive cloth, like that, with the radioactive silk. Okay. Now Spider-Man's leggings are crafted very simply with lapis lazuli here and here, and radioactive cloth on the top. His boots are crafted very simply. Just lapis, lapis, red cloth, red cloth. Okay. So, uh, now Spider-Man's web shooter is crafted with radioactive silk, radioactive silk, silk, iron, uh, here, and then silk there. Uh, there's no crafting recipe. Okay. So, we're gonna go try out Spider-Man. He's the friendliest Spider-Man can be. I don't know the song. I don't know why I'm trying. Okay, so Spider-Man. He has speed, strength, three, and jump boost, four. He can take out baddies with, with web shooters that actually shoot webs. And, um, so you shoot the web shooter. Pow. Whoa. Dang it, that didn't work. I thought that was going to work. I thought that was going to work. Okay, let, let's try shooting. That is cool. So, it's an awesome web shooter that if you whack people with. It does a ton of damage for some reason. Cause oh yeah, because of my strength. I forgot about that. That's why it was that's why those things were doing a ton of damage. Okay. It's five damage. And you just hit her. And then let me throw this thing on. You're dead! Boom. Okay. So that is Spider Man. The friendliest Spider Man can be, because he is Spider Man. Because Spider-Man is Spider-Man. Okay. Now, Thor, Prince of Thunder. Uh, then we're going to take a break. Thor, uh, why did I take it out? That was like the stupidest thing I've ever done. In a mod showcase. Okay. Okay, first, Craft Thor's helmet is crafted with Domensicus steel, like a helmet. Which is, which is crafted with a block of iron, a block of... A Urer block and an iron block. Two iron blocks in an Urer block, which is crafted with Urer ingots, which is found by smelting Urer ore. That is very confusing. 
His boots are crafted with uh, or Dominicus steel, which is cool. And then his Thor suit is crafted with the same, more or less the same. Uh, then his leggings are crafted with his the same. They're, they're all the same ingots. And then last but not least, his hammer Molnir. You guys are... Whoa, okay. So you uh, hammer hilt is crafted with wood planks like that. That's the easiest crafting recipe I've seen in the mod. And then the Molnir hammer top is crafted with Urur blocks, which are crafted like that, which are crafted like that. By smelting that. So... Uh, we're gonna go try out Thor now. Uh, let's see what he gives you. He gives you speed, strength, three, and fire resistance. And his hammer, if you right-click it, boom! I don't know if I mentioned. I, I don't remember. But I think I didn't mention that I, I don't remember if I did. I'm gonna just show it again. With Captain America, you can throw his shield. I'm not sure if I showed you guys that, but you can throw it, and it's cool. Just I, I just forgot to mention that he could throw it. I'm not sure if I did mention or I didn't mention, but he can throw it. So Thor's hammer, when you right-click it, it strikes lightning onto the ground. Very cool armor. Very cool as Thor. Uh... Yes, this is it. Okay, let's throw this stuff in here. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed so far. We still got a couple more left. Uh, we got this stuff here. Um, just a couple more superheroes, and then we'll be done. And we'll test out the Mandarin's rings, and we'll look at the bosses. And I hope you guys have enjoyed so far, and keep watching. We're almost done. So, thanks. Bye. Hey, guys, the Butter Mustache here. And uh, today we are continuing with our... Uh, Marvel, uh, mod showcase, um, we're back, again, you know, uh, we've been doing a lot of pausing, uh, just so you know, if this, uh, doesn't get uploaded on time, I am sorry, I had not a lot of time today, and I am recording each, like, little section, each pause, a long time after each other, uh, so, like, even a couple hours for some of them, so, that's the problem here, so, uh, it might not get uploaded on Memorial Day, but uh, hopefully it will be uploaded by Friday or even midweek. So uh, we're going to now do Hulk, uh, Deadpool, uh, not that guy, that's last, um, Ant-Man, and Wasp. And then we're going to go to that uh, mysterious chest over there. Okay, so we're going to first look at the Hulk. Uh, his, the Hulk's head is crafted like so. A lot of gamma radiation with a leather cap in the middle. Gamma radiation, I guess you find it somehow. And it's a pretty simple crafting recipe. I don't know how you find gamma radiation. Hulk's body is crafted the same way, except with a leather tunic in the middle. Uh, Hulk's pants, uh, I guess you can find gamma radiation, like lying around or something. And uh, leather pants in the middle with gamma radiation all around block of gamma radiation. Hulk's feet are crafted with a leather boot and uh, radiation, gamma radiation all around it. Get their, their crafting recipe. Okay. We're gonna throw this all down here. And we are gonna suit up in Hulk mode. So Hulk gives you strength, speed, and jump boost. I'm guessing your strength is up off the charts. Yes, yeah, 17 damage. That's crazy. Uh, especially for your fist. And it's unlimited and it's awesome. So you can become the uh, incredible Hulk. It's uh, probably the smallest of the superheroes in the mod. Okay, now we are at Deadpool. Uh, this is... Um, so, Deadpool and Spider-Man are my two worst designs, because if you look closely, the mask and the rest of the body kind of look like Deadpool and Spider-Man's masks and um, the rest of their suits look similar. It looks like Deadpool is just a retexture of Spider-Man. So, 
but we still got to show it. So uh, Deadpool, I'm going to throw it back in here. Sorry about that. Deadpool's mask is crafted like so with red cloth here, 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 and white cloth there. To show you the red cloth crafting recipe again, it's string, 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 and then string down this diagonal, and then a uh, star shape of red wool. Uh, next, then you do the white cloth. Again, it's string, 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 and then white wool like that, and you get four of them. So then the chest plate is crafted with black iron blocks again with two red cloth. Black iron blocks again are crafted with black iron ingots, which are crafted by smelting black iron ore. So, you can see that again. Okay, now, the pants are crafted with black iron blocks here, 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 and here, with red cloth here, 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 and here. I'm get coming down with a cold, guys. Sorry about that for the sniffling. Okay, so um, you put uh, for the boots. You put red cloth, red cloth, and then black iron blocks and black iron blocks there. Okay, for the sword, Deadpool's sword is crafted with blade, blade, and a black ironing. It blades are crafted by putting iron like that. So it's just a regular blade, not an adamantium blade, and uh, in unlike Wolverine's claws. So I wonder what Deadpool does. I think he'll have regeneration. Okay. He does have regeneration and he has speed. So since these next couple guys are not really destructive, that is overpowered, first of all. And it does an astounding 29 damage. So Deadpool must be powerful because 29 damage is a lot. Of damage. I mean, not nearly to Molnir, which does 59 damage. And 59 damage, that's a lot of damage. It's more than some, like, mods like Orspawn. Okay, oh, forgot to put Deadpool's sword back. Okay, next we have Ant-Man. So, uh, forgot to look at the crafted recipes. I keep doing that. Okay, Ant-Man's mask is crafted with iron ingots here, here, and here, with a ant antenna here and here, which I guess you find. That's what I'm guessing. Probably from killing an ant, if they add ants in. Okay, the chest plate is crafted with black iron here, 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 and here, with a red cloth on the side. I think you guys by now know how to craft black iron, and I think by now you also know how to craft red cloth. I mean, I've showed you that a lot today. His leggings are crafted with ant legs and legs with a lapis here and red cloth here. That is, must be found as well. Its boots are crafted with ant legs here and here with iron blocks there. Okay. That is awesome. So we're going to look at Ant-Man and the Sonic Ant Call. Resistance. And it summons ants that if you kill, that is awesome. Maybe they fight for you or something. That would be really cool. Ants that fight for you. It is a tamed ant. That is pretty awesome. That's really awesome, I mean. But I have to say his armor is probably the worst of all the armors. Um, it only gives you resistance, and, and uh, Ant-Man isn't doesn't have many powers anyways. His, his suit is kind of weird. Sorry about that. That was uh, Wolfcraft calling me. Uh, he was being annoying. Sorry about that. Oh, I summoned another ant. Dang it. Okay. We're going to put a uh, Sonic and Call back. You, we looked at that. All right. Next chest, the Wasp. Her mask is crafted with limonite with brown wool. Oh, wow. Brown wool? That's weird. And limonite is crafted by smelting limonite ore. 
wasp suit is crafted with black iron ingots here, here, and here, with limonite here, 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 and the black iron ingots here. Wow, limonite. Okay, wasp leggings are crafted with limonite here, 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 and black iron ingots there and there. Her boots are crafted with limonite ingots here, here, and black iron ingots here and here. Kitty wasp's boots. Her stinger is crafted with limonite like this, like in a star shape, sort of. So, I don't know what wasp stinger does. So maybe we should go in the testing chamber. What do you think? Yeah, we're going to go in the testing chamber. So I have no idea if uh, her thing could be dangerous in any way. That is cool. You can shoot wasp stingers. Am I missing? So it seems that wasp doesn't give you a special ability. I think wasp seems to be in progress right now. So wasp is not done yet. Because uh, she doesn't give you a special ability. That is weird. Um, maybe you put the stinger on the... Nope. All right. I guess Wasp is still a work in progress. I think this mod is still updating, still getting worked on. So, you know. All right, guys, we'll be right back. And, and next, we're going to go check out the bosses, um, the Chitari Scepter, and all the matter, uh, the Mandarin ranks. Uh, be right back. And Hey guys, we are back for hopefully the final time. I'm going to go suit up in Captain America gear because after all, this is a uh, Captain America themed mod review. Uh, well, suit up as Captain America because we're about to go fight some bosses. We'll put this stuff away. We're going to go fight Loki and we're going to go fight Ten Ring. Uh, you'll see the Mandarin. So we're uh, not going to take this Chachari Scepter. There is no crafting recipe. You can only get it from Loki. And I'm going to just check if these do. You can only get all these rings from the Mandarin. So I'm going to take all these rings so we can have them. Uh, and we'll test them out on witches. Uh, let's put this back here. All right. I like organizedness. Okay, there's an ant. It's my ant, but whatever. Okay, let's head into the testing chamber to test these two things out. So I think we're going to test out Loki first. When you spawn in Loki, he is Loki. And do you want to see him? All right. Are you gonna, are you gonna attack me? I think this mod needs to. It's gonna attack me. Oh wow! It does a lot of damage. Whoa! That killed me. That killed me. That was odd. What is this thing? I'm just going to see. Ooh, robbers. I didn't know this mod added thugs. Sweet. Okay. Uh, I guess I'll review the thugs in part two. Uh, mustache base. Where is it? Wow, Loki is powerful. He is really powerful. I mean, I... I'm, I'm looking for the most space. Sorry, guys. Take out one part of Captain America. So, Loki really can kill you. I mean, hmm, that is powerful. Where am I? Uh, be right back in just, oh. 
Did Loki do this? Be right back in just a sec. Hey guys, sorry for that. Um, Loki did not do it. Uh, I guess they just was digging in the wrong spot. Didn't dig low enough. But we're going to go ahead and kill Loki. So I'm going to take my shield and... Okay, this is taking a while. Let's throw this Captain America mask on. Maybe that will help. Oh yeah, it does 49 damage. Okay. He's he's hard. I mean, he killed us. Loki did not do it. It was like, I must have not dug down. Must have not gone down far enough or something weird must have happened. But crisis averted. The mustache base is not gone. Thank God. So Loki will drop a Chitauri Scepter, which does... Uh... That was insane. If you just saw that, does nine. Well, my Captain America stuff on. Okay, taking on my shirt off. It does ten of attack damage, poisons it, and it just does that. That is pretty cool. Okay, I'm gonna put the Chitari scepter there and uh. Keep this. Next is the Mandarin. He is the other boss. And after we defeat the Mandarin, we will check out his rings. Okay. So, the Mandarin. This weird dude. I am not going to try to go into survival. Because we know he will be powerful. Get him in a corner and chop him up with our shield. He will drop... The rings, he will drop some of his rings. It's not going to be all of his rings, but he will drop some of his rings. Actually, he drops all ten of them. Ha, huh, that's weird. Okay, so he drops all ten rings when you kill him. I bet he is super powerful and annoying. Okay, this is going to be fun. This is going to be the kind of scary part. The Rings of the Mandarin. Okay, the first ring is the Electro Blast Ring. Of course, it strikes lightning. We're going to go through these really fast. There's a lot of them. The Matter Rearranging Ring. Oh, God, I'm scared. Whoa. What did that do? I can't tell what that did. Did that make? Doesn't really do anything. Okay, so the matter rearranging doesn't do anything. Okay, next is the ice blast ring. Summons a snow golem. What? Why would it summon a snow golem? Fire flame blast ring. I think you can yes. Um, what that does. Oh my god, it sends out blazes. Okay, the impact. Ew. Whoa. Alright, I'm gonna have to clean that up later. These rings are powerful, Vortex. I'm scared. Okay, didn't do anything. Okay, I will have to fix the mustache base later. Black, bl black light ring. I I'm scared. I get scared for some of these. Um, doesn't do anything. Okay, white. I'm guessing it changes the time of day. So we got two more. These rings can be dangerous. What does this do? This is the Mento Intisfer ring. I think some of these rings are still in progress. Still working on the degeneration beam. That doesn't do anything. I think the rings are the part of the Marvel section of the mod.
that are still in progress. So, guys, I think that's it for this mod review. Um, it was a longer one. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed. And uh, have a happy uh, Memorial Day if, you know, this is uploaded later. But uh, we recorded this all on Memorial Day. So, guys, I hope you have a happy Memorial Day. And um, honor those soldiers who fought for us in the war. I salute them. So, um, also, before we leave, I got some help. I'm going to give some credit. This, the thumbnail of this uh, thing was created by my friend Manatee. You guys know him. There's a witch crawling around over there. And um, uh, some of this information, I didn't know what the rings were. So I asked my friend the Water Warrior. He's the classic comic nerd, and he is very helpful. I give a ton of credit to him. He helped me. Um, I the, Some of the stuff in the inventory, the, some of these weapons here aren't sorted. These aren't sorted. So I asked him if these rings, I thought these rings were from DC. Um, so he corrected me, and they are from Marvel. So thanks to him, I got everything from the Marvel section in this mod showcase. So I uh, hope you guys enjoyed, and we'll see you guys later. Thank you. Goodbye.